Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Assorted Sundries. Uh, okay, so um, I always have to pause so I have a good place to screenshot that. Uh, <laughs> it's just going to be a rambling mess this week. So if you don't like the rambling messes, carry on. I'll see you next week. Um, yeah, so uh, we're getting snow this weekend, apparently, um, anywhere between 2 to 20 inches because nobody can make up their minds. I'm guessing probably around 8. But since I do live in the state of Virginia, we may get 8 inches. Heck, we may even get 18, but it'll be gone in 2 or 3 days because it just, the ground's still warm, you guys. Last week it was 70. <laughs> So, yeah, it's not going to stick very much. Um, of course, this means that it's French toast weather. Uh, what do I mean by that? French toast weather, you guys. Everybody runs to the store and buys all the bread, milk, and eggs. Um, yeah, like it, it's news stories down here, and they just show pictures of grocery stores with empty bread aisles and all the milk being gone. It'll be like a day and a half. If you can't go without bread, milk, and eggs for a day and a half, like, what do you people keep in your refrigerator? All that stuff is in my fridge. We didn't have to run out and buy it. Do you know what Joe and I are going to have to buy? Okay, you know what I'm going to make Joe go buy? Beer for him and wine for me, just so I have alcohol um, if I need it. <laughs> Seriously. And I don't even need that. It's just, it's funny. So, um, yes, the southern states especially, it is hilarious because we get snow so seldomly. People always think it's the snowpocalypse. It is, oh my gosh, it's funny. So, um, so I get to look forward to that this weekend. Uh, but, of course, if it is uh, wet, heavy snow, we may get power outages, um, which is never super fun. So I am going to make sure that my nook is charged today um, and maybe I'll go ahead and buy myself a new book to read um, just in case of power outages. Um, but if I don't feel like reading, I will probably either color or make some jewelry, which I have been doing lately. Would you like to see? Uh, most of you maybe. I don't know. So uh, you guys, I'm sure, I, actually I know quite a few of you have gotten into the adult coloring book thing. Um, although I'll have you know, Dudes, I have always had coloring books. They haven't been adult. Oh, gosh. I wonder if they should still be in here. Let me see if I have one of my older coloring books in here. Um, the old school style, I suppose, is what, what they would be referred to as. Oh, yeah, I do, too. Hold up. Let me show you that I still colored with crayons and stuff, and I break out whenever the kids are down um yeah like I have Barbie thank you um yes I have coloring books I have always colored these ones of course are my um color with uh crayon coloring books do I even have any that I've colored in here although when you let the kids uh, touch them. Sometimes they uh, color over what you've already colored. Have you noticed this? Oh, yeah, there's one. Look, Pocahontas. Oh, I did that one in gel pen because it's, look how shiny and sparkly it is. Um, yeah, I got a Pocahontas coloring book. What? Uh, but there, see, see, this is me. This is me with crayons. I still have crayons. Of course I do. Um, any hoodles. Yeah. So those are my crayon coloring books, except of course for the one I did with gel pens for some reason. And then I got this awesome one that I have actually, I don't even know if I've colored any in here, but I found it and I bought it um, at Sam's. It's all Disney princesses. <laughs> did I color any? I got it because it has the white paper paper instead of the, um, oh, I did color. Huh. Yeah, it looks like Aurora, or at least I started one. I'm real bad about starting and not finishing, though. Um, but, yeah, I bought it because it was paper paper and not what coloring books are usually made out of, which you guys know is that, oh, look, there's one I started, too, and didn't finish. Ariel, that's probably Little Mermaid. Yep. Yay. <laughs> 
But, uh, yeah, I really like coloring with gel pens, y'all. It's just my jam. Um, I'm really bad about starting and not finishing, though. Really bad. I need some marker markers. Um, I'm not as good with crayons. You can clearly see. I don't like crayons as well. I like coloring with crayons, but, like, my friend Brandy, when she colors with crayons, she gets these amazing... Um, she can do all that shading and stuff, and I've never been able to do it with crayons. It just does not work for me. Um, yeah, so, you know, there's that. Uh, yeah, but, like, this one's from 1999, for goodness sakes. 99. So, needless to say, yeah, I've been, uh, and I used to draw and do things. Not so much anymore. I don't know why I still have these. This is me. This is, I'm not, I am not an artist whatsoever. Um, I can't really draw faces. Can you tell? <laughs> There's a blast from the past. Any hoodles? Uh, yes, I was old and married by the time I did those. I can, I can at least confirm that. Um, but yeah, so I got the adult. I got the adult coloring books. Uh, so I got myself, uh, the first one I tackled was Fanciful Faces. This, of course, was before they were anywhere, and I got them on Amazon. Um, I did a sea scene. Oh, pretty. Gel pens. I love my gel pens, you guys. I realize it's coloring with an ink pen, but I don't care. And I started this one and haven't gotten around to finishing her yet. But, uh, Yeah. Then I did a Paisley, although I did find out my biggest problem with these is the backgrounds. I don't want to just leave them white, but I figured out I could use Sharpies in various thicknesses uh, and get a good, decent background. So I started uh, one of the ones I got for Christmas, which was flowers. Um, I think I only have two or three flowers to go um, to, to get it finished. Oh, so nice. Um, I actually did like real colors for that one. But for these, I always put uh, a sheet of paper behind it so it won't bleed through. Just my jam. Um, so yeah, I've been coloring. I listen to podcasts or watch TV with the old man and color and just kind of chillax. Um, I have also done some jewelry lately. Okay, earrings. I make a lot of earrings, you guys. Uh, I just, I think because I wear them the most. <laughs> Um, and the chains and stuff to make necklaces are just more expensive, perhaps. I don't know. Um, or I've cut them all up to use for earrings, which is what I've been doing lately. So, uh, I made these, which I like. Mm, you can't really see them with my hair down. Do I have a stick? I have a stick. I have a stick. Hold on. Um, you guys know I like danglers. I just do. I can't help myself. Um, I just like dangly earrings. I have a long neck, so I don't wear studs, like, ever, except sometimes in the second holes of my ears, but mostly I wear danglers because that's, they're my jam. They have always been my jam, as it were. So, uh, yeah, I've made some. I've been going through looking at some of my beads. So I made these. They are, um, Amber and silver beads. See what you can absolutely not see. Can you? I don't know. Maybe you can see better there. But any hoodles, yes. They look nice. So I made those. They're nice. And I mean these with turquoise beads. They're chains. These are really easy though. I mean, you just gotta count your chains out to the right. The same on both sides, but I think they look cool. On. So I made those. I made some classy ones of pearls and aurora borealis crystals. Mm. Um, because pearls are always classy. And I made some danglers. I still had some of these square flowers left over. Um, so I added some danglers to them. Because why not? So I made those. Because, you know. Not all my danglers are super dangly, but they do dangle. I also, since I do not wear 
studs very often. I had these, uh, you guys that follow me on uh, Instagram know this. I had these really cute Wonder Woman studs. It's WW. So I added um, a dangler behind the W and then I added a dangler on the actual earring back so that I would actually wear these. And I think they turned out really cute. Where's my back? Um, yeah, I saw a pin on Pinterest where somebody had started um, adding uh, danglers on the earring backs of her studs. Oh, I didn't get it on there, apparently. Um, and it looked so cool. And I was like, well, yes, I could, I could actually do that. I have all the necessary equipment. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I didn't have it in the hole. So now I have danglers. Why not? Also, I had a request from my friend Julia. She and uh, she's doing a La Dia de los Muertos uh, birth themed birthday party for her son, Xander. That was his request. So she wanted earrings and a necklace to kind of go. Um, now, the necklace is too long. And I know that, but I made it too long so I could adjust it for her. Um, but these are the earrings. Uh, they have little, I decided to go with turquoise skulls because I like turquoise, orange, and pink together. So, yeah, those, those are the earrings, which I think look cool. Um, they're a little big, but Julia can pull it off. Um, so there's those. And then the necklace oh my gosh yeah um so the necklace i did with the i did it catty cornered um kind of deal so that it would kind of come up on the one side but i've got you know flowers and stuff and then in here is a really oh, i can say it is a big turquoise skull and then there are pearls and other things mm -hmm. so i did that uh i Mod Podge some fabric for the backing and then um, basically glued all the flowers on. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I sewed the skulls and the other things on and the um, I put some of these buggers. I sewed them straight to it. So I don't know. She seemed to like it okay. So the next time she's over, I'm going to adjust it so it will lie where she wants it to lie. But yeah, basically I've just been a little bit crafty, coloring, uh, doing things with my hands. Uh, my husband made so much sausage last weekend um, out of pork shoulder. Uh, he just, yeah, he wanted to make sausage. So I have breakfast sausage, I have pepperoni, I have snack sausages, like Slim Jims, only not. He smoked those. Um... He made me some Cajun sausages and some regular old country sausage. So, yeah. So, my freezer is full of sausages, which is nice. Um, especially for the oncoming snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll probably have some of those Cajun sausages tonight. But tomorrow I'm making burritos uh, or tacos or something because I need my Mexican food fix because it's my favorite. So, yeah, I guess that's it for today. I told you, rambling, just rambling. Um, I just didn't have a topic, and I'm sorry about that. It just, yep, that happens sometimes, um, but that's okay, because next week we will have a topic. How do I know this? Because you're going to give it to me, as in next week is a QA. and a because I haven't done one of those in a long time, not since we tried to do a live stream, which ended in near tears for me. Um, that live stream was terrible. I've never done another one because I've never gotten that stuff to work right since. Um, I didn't even get it to work right then, quite frankly. So, uh, yeah, we are going to do a Q&A for next week. Um, hopefully I will remember to mention it on Monday. <laughs> um, uh, again, some more. Um, but yeah, send me anything that I have not answered recently or just whatever you're wondering is fine i don't care you guys know i don't care whatever you want to ask is fine with me um yeah and i answer everything um unless it's 
Well, no, I can't say that. I don't think I've ever not answered. So I answer everything. Uh, yeah, if there's any inquiring minds, things you guys want to know, ask away, comments. You can tweet me, send me a message on Facebook, um, whatever. Just let me know, and then I will compile, and next week's Assorted Sundries will be a QA. and a Yay! Because it makes it easier for me. Um, I'm good at answering questions. It's coming up with topics that it's sometimes difficult. All right. I love you guys, and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Um, yeah. Mine will be cold and full of warm puppies. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Bye.